Doing mushroom is very good business. This gives me money every day. But the photography, sometimes a month or two, you will not get the program to do. But this one, every day, I'll be able to get something from it. My name is Godwin Aziagbeno. I'm an agri extension officer by profession, also into mushroom farming. Um, I started mushroom farming when I completed agri college. Uh, it was discovered when we were on campus, you know, agri, into all these things. Um, actually, there is a, a high demand for mushroom. You know, people like vegetarians, they've been eating it. Uh, also, a diabetes patient and any ordinary uh, person who knows ma much about mushroom. So the demand has been high all this year. As a beginner, you need to get the land. You make a, a structure on the land and then you buy your materials to start the mushroom. You get your sawdust peat brown, whitewash, and the rubbers before you can start growing the mushroom. And then seed, the mushroom seed. So that you can get it at sawmills. It's not scale. We don't buy the sawdust. We buy the spawn, the rubbers, and then the peat brown, or rice brown. We have edible mushroom and non edible mushroom. So we also have type of edible mushroom. We have uh, domo. Uh, we also have uh, oyster mushroom and any other type. What we crop over here is oyster mushroom. With the oyster mushroom, uh, the ad advantage is uh, when you grow oyster mushroom, it doesn't uh, get spoiled early compared to the domo. When you harvest domo, you are not able to eat it or sell it within a day. The following day, it will rot. But unlike oyster, oyster can stay um, one day, two days, eat and use any other time. My current capacity now is 1,000 bucks. I'm now harvesting 500 bucks. I do have three kilos a day from 500 bags. Not every day, every two, three days, I do have about two kilos, three kilos. Kilo is 20 cities. Sometimes I do have 60 Ghana, 80 Ghana a day. Now I have two people, two <laughs> workers. My intention, because the work is very hard. You have to get the people to help you before you can grow the mushroom. I pay a labor a month, 300 cities a month, each patient 300. I'm still profitable because the mushrooms are still coming out and people are coming for it. You know, every three days, people come and buy, so it's still profitable. Mushroom is a fungi product. A mushroom have to do with the a composition of a compost. After the composition of the compost, you have to do uh, bagging. After the bagging, you do sterilization. After sterilization, meaning after that time, your mushroom seed is ready. Then the following day, you do uh, your spawning. After the spawning, you wait for one uh, month. Then your mushroom bags are ready for cropping. So you move them to the cropping house. Then you start harvesting your mushroom. 
I would say mushroom farming is uh, highly labor intensive. Um, I like uh, other activities that I do, like beekeeping. Uh, for the beekeeping, is less uh, labor intensive, but the mushroom farming is highly labor intensive. You need people to uh, go in for the, the compost, which is the sawdust. You need people to do mixing for you. Aside that one, you need people to do the bagging. And even the sterilization is a, a whole uh, work all together. Uh, catching, fetching firewood um, and do the sterilization. And also the inoculation is also one of the process. So uh, wholly the whole thing is labor intensive. With the uh, startup capital, I also say that um, with that one too, it's uh, highly capital intensive. Uh, before you go into mushroom farming, you may need land. Uh, sometimes when you start a business like this, want bringing money, people, if you are not on your personal land, um, the land owners may troop in that you want to take their land. So you need to buy land for yourself. Uh, also, uh, the things that you may need, you have to do your structure, which is the mushroom structure, the mushroom house. Um, you will buy sterilization tank, which is the one we are. This one. You have to buy this one. That, that is what you use for the sterilization of the mushroom bags. Um, aside that one, you have to be all paying your laborers. So I would say that highly uh, capital intensive. Before you start your, uh, your composting, you may need a lot of water to do the composting. I think your land should be closer to a permanent water source. Uh, aside that one, you also need the cropping house as well as a inoculation house. You have to also get a reliable person who can be supplying you mushroom seed. Uh, mushroom seed has been a problem over the year. Is that I face sometimes the spawn. We do face challenges in getting the spawn. Sometimes you have the bugs, but you not get the spawn to plant. Infection when you don't get the a good incubating room for the uh, mushroom you can lose uh, about thousand or the one that you spawn if you don't if you don't incubate it well at the incubating room you lose all yes uh, the mixes are if you don't do the cooking well to sterilization if you don't sterilize it well that one too you, you made a lot it's of lot mistakes, mistakes yes have you had any loss on the farm before, like due to the mistake you made over the years, your three years? Uh, yes, I had. What was the mistake? What was the loss? That one, it was the rain season. Uh -huh. You know, we have we use firewood to to sterilize it. So that time the firewoods are all are uh, wet. So the fire, if you are stellar, doing the sterilizing, the fire will not. The fire has to be cons consistent mm. Mm, because of the rain season. We don't get it. So you lost well. how many bags? Oh, that time I lost about not, about five hundred bags. Um, how long do you cook? How long do you do the stuff? How long? Three the, hours. Three hours. Yes. Why don't you use alternative means rather than the firewood? Uh, yes, we can use gas, but the cost. Mm. Yes, the, the, the gas is the, the best one, but the cost, I'm looking about the cost. Apart from selling the fresh mushroom, we also sell the bags, the compost bag. Like this, people come and buy it like this and go and place it in their home and crop it it's now ready to bear mushroom yes bear mushroom. so how much is this one three we sell this one three cities okay per bag. how much does it cost you to make one of this mm, this one will cost me maybe it will not reach one cd one cd yes so if you sell thousand you have made three thousand <laughs> yes okay yes 
according to research, the dry ones are highly protein than the fresh ones. I sell my mushroom to market women. Okay. They come here to buy it and they also go in and to sell it at the market. Wow. And I have some vegetarians to come here to buy. So for marketing, it's very high. Do you sell them? How much do you sell fresh ones? Fresh one, one kg is 26. And then sometimes we sell the dry one too. That one too, a kg is 100 cities. Why is a kg 100 cities? When it gets dry, it's, it's loose, it's loose weight. Uh, fresh mushroom or dry ones, the dry one is 100 cities a kilo, and then the fresh one is 20 cities. We have the compost bag with three cities per bag. My number is 0242 019006. Where? Thank you.